Howdy y'all, welcome back, thank you for being here. We're going to look at what are considered by many historians to be the first photographs ever taken of an active war, being the Crimean War from 1853 through 1856. These images will predate the photographs we looked at recently of the Civil War in America by roughly a decade. These photographs come to us from Roger Fenton, a British photographer considered by many to be the first war photographer in history. Fenton was born in Lancashire, England in 1819 to a wealthy merchant family. After graduating from the University of London, Fenton would go on to attend the Great Exhibition of London in 1851. At this extravagant event, Fenton was introduced to the fledgling technology of photography. Within one year's time, Fenton had achieved numerous milestones in photography, traveling to the heart of Russia after photographing a majority of London. Fenton personally published a call for a photographic society in London, which was quickly met by the establishment of the Photographic Society, which later became the Royal Photographic Society, of which Fenton was noted as the founder and first secretary. In autumn of 1854, at the urgency of high-profile players in England, including Prince Albert, Fenton was persuaded to visit Crimea and photograph the happenings of the Crimean War. With the Thomas Agnew & Sons Publishing and Print Company as his sponsor, Fenton headed off on what can be considered the first official photographic documentation of a major conflict of war in history. The photographs may have been intended to sway public opinion, which seemed, at least in England at the time, to be against the war. Fenton's photographs, while highly detailed, were said to need long exposures, and for this reason, Fenton mostly photographed the military leaders, however, Fenton was also able to capture quality images of the ever-evolving Crimean landscape, which included some very ancient-looking ruins. Fenton, looking to aim his photographs in a positive light for England, possibly under the guidance of Prince Albert, Fenton avoided taking pictures of perished or injured soldiers. One of the most famous photographs, and indeed the photograph from the Crimean War, which seemed to travel across most of the world, was titled The Valley of the Shadow of Death, showing a hill-like or mound-like area with a path crudely cut through it that had many cannonballs lying along this makeshift roadside. This will be just one of the over 140 unique and seldom seen photographs taken by Roger Fenton in Crimea, which we will dive into today. As always, be on the lookout here for very ominous and deteriorated buildings, some of which appear well-weathered or buried by the conditions, we will also notice the makeshift nature of the camps and the troops themselves, who appear to come from numerous different backgrounds and trainings. We will also notice the lack of significant machinery or even significant architecture or buildings throughout most of these images. By the way, I'm going to leave a link down below that will allow you to view the full album of Roger Fenton's photographs of the Crimean War in full-size detail, so you can check that out after the video. The castles and the forts that we do see in these photographs appear either very aged and look ancient, or they appear to be very flimsy and newly built, either out of simple wood with no reinforcement, and usually they have no foundation. Sometimes they are even tents. It is quite a dichotomy that is created throughout these images, and when we compare them to the photographs of the Civil War in America, which we looked at last week, we oddly see a lot of similarities as well. Finally, we will look through numerous photographs here of soldiers, some high-ranking officials, and even an image of Napoleon III, which was said to be taken on the battlefield, albeit in a posed position. These images are quite interesting to say the least. The Crimean War beginning in October of 1853 is an entire can of worms, which we can discuss in a later video. But for now, I wanted to focus on this somewhat new technology at the time, of photography and the images that were said to be taken on site by Roger Fenton in roughly 1854. These are incredible photographs and I hope you enjoy diving into them as much as I did. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments about these images down below. As always, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos focusing on these old world photographs and I can't wait to talk to you on the next video.